If America has Warhol and England has Hockney and Hearst, Japan has Yayoi Kusama. This was said of Kusama, a famous contemporary Japanese artist, in an article Kusama Marvels. This determined artist had the makings of greatness far before her time and was pushing boundaries for gay rights, feminism, and sexuality. Creating art as a means of meditation and obsession, the ambitious Kusama has constructed decades of mesmerizing paintings, performance art pieces, and installations. Deciding to leave her homeland of Matsumoto, Japan, Kusama headed to New York in search of a more accepting environment. Although she would face many difficult struggles throughout her career, as well as an until illness, this would not slow her down. Frances Morris, a curator of Kusama for Tate 2012, said she was on a train to stardom. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. She had a suitcase full of drawings and she said about selling herself. The works of Kusama we will be analyzing are number F, 1959, and The Souls of Millions of Light Years Away. These pieces, belonging to the contemporary art era, elaborate on the artist's interest in repetition and her continued dialogue with obliteration. A part of Kusama's Infinity Net series, number F, 1959, is oil paint on canvas. It is approximately 41 by 52 inches and plays with the idea of infinite repetition. Number F is currently located at the MoMA in New York. Kusama painted with compact and steady hand motions, portraying minuscule dots represented with the negative spaces of the oil paint. The artist sticks to a two-color palette, gray and off-white. Kusama used a precise and methodical form of painting. The repetitive curvature and woven lattice of brushwork reveal Kusama's close proximity to the painting and her attentiveness to minute details. Jo Applin, in her book on Kusama, elaborates on the artist's work style, saying, To make her infinity nets, Kusama invested a huge amount of physical labor, crouching over canvases, oftentimes large, for hours on end, obsessively applying globby curls of creamy oil paint to the surface. The area located near the middle left has a rugged texture providing a focal point for the piece. In these heavily saturated areas, it appears Kusama would lump paint globs straight from the tubes. This thick paint, in contrast to the surrounding smoother areas, reveals her versatility through her manipulation of the paint's viscosity. Those stylistic choices help form an interesting composition and allow the eye to feel weighted and engrossed in what could have been a mundane piece. What is most interesting is the tension found within the inconsistent yet homogeneous use of Kusama's many small dots. All the same in color, all relatively the same size and shape, and yet the painting becomes more engaging at how each hole lacks exactness and becomes a unique and individual hole in comparison to all those around it. In one instance, this piece is both rhythmic and chaotic. In the description of the painting from the Museum of Modern Art, they relay, psychologically, the process of making this painting was a form of catharsis for the artist, who sought to obliterate her fears and even herself through the act of repetition. As Kusama sought to lose herself in her piece while she created it, she translates this to the viewer who is able to lose themselves while observing the intrinsic paintwork. The second artwork being analyzed is Kusama's installation piece, The Souls of Millions of Light Years Away. This piece is part of the permanent collection located at the Broad Museum in Los Angeles, California. This installation is composed of wood, metal, glass mirrors, plastic, acrylic panel, rubber, LED lighting system, acrylic balls, and water. Visitors of Kusama's Infinity Room are allowed to enter alone or in a group max of three for approximately 30 seconds. The room is 9.5 by 13 by 13 feet. Kusama uses LED lights and mirrors to create an environment unlike what most viewers will experience in their lifetime. Her use of reflection from the mirrors and water surrounding the viewer create an echoing effect of the existing lights and continue on infinitely, making the title of her installation very appropriate. In Griselda Pollock's book, Psychoanalysis and the Image, Pollock quotes Kusama and the artist's idea of self-obliteration in the universe. Kusama states, How profound is the mystery of the infinity that is infinite across the cosmos. By perceiving this, I want to see my own life. My life, a dot, namely one among millions of particles. It was in 1959 that I gave my manifesto that my art obliterates myself and others. The structure of the piece is set up with mirrors along the walls, including above the viewer on the ceiling. Water is used to cover the floor of the room, and it's completely dark except for the well-placed LED lights of different colors and sizes, which hang from the ceiling at different heights and intervals. The viewers lose themselves in what appears to be the abyss of the Milky Way galaxy, staring into oblivion. The only sense one has of distance is the edges of the mirrors, which are faintly outlined throughout the expanse of the installation. There is perhaps no other artwork which allows an individual to fully immerse and lose themselves in the way that Kusama's Infinity Rooms do. The artist's installations have been very popular with the public and have become a desired location for social media content, especially among millennials.
The life and work of Kusama is an inspiration to say the least. Her perseverance, authenticity, and unique ways have carved a path to influence and motivate future generations. Upon analyzing number F, 1959, and the souls of millions of light years away, viewers are left in awe of the artist's depth and vision. Her ability to communicate space and the position of self is truly extraordinary. There is no doubt this incredible woman will go down in history as a legendary Japanese artist. This is Yayoi Kusama.